Hello and welcome to another Kelty Spotlight video where today we'll be taking a look at AI inventions at the EPO and I'm joined here by my trusty HAL AI model um, as helper for this video. Now when we're talking about AI inventions we may refer to sort of three general concepts the first of which is core AI inventions by which we, we mean inventions that relate to a better training method or a better AI model. We may also refer to the application of an AI, so applied AI, by which we mean, uh, say, a better image classifier or something that controls a vehicle. And the third area that we might refer to over on the far left there is hardware AI, which as you can see by the box around the AI model on the far left, uh, relates to when you've had to adapt your AI model to work in a different hardware arrangement. Now the EPO will regard hardware and applied AI inventions as patent eligible, meaning that if your uh, invention is um, new, it has novelty and it's non-obvious, then you should be able to get patent protection at the EPO. If your invention, however, falls in the core AI section, uh, you don't have to give up hope, but you may have to pay um, a bit more consideration to exactly what you're claiming. You may, for example, want to think about the use cases that you might put your core AI model towards um, so that they can serve as fallback positions in the event that the EPO raise an objection. But this very briefly is how the EPO will regard AI inventions and it's the kind of things that we have to think of um, when we're looking to protect an AI invention. If you've got any questions um, about protecting AI inventions or software inventions or anything in the EPO um, then please check out our knowledge pages at kelty.com or drop us an email. Thank you and goodbye.